when we shift to either really even straight on if they are parallel, I want my light above and behind on almost every type of commercial tabletop product I'm doing because I want that to make sure that shadow is coming from behind to give me shape and depth. And it's also putting the shadow on the bottom, which grounds these subjects. I don't want the shadow going away from the camera. I want it coming towards the camera to give the most dimension and also give a place for that product to rest. So light position, something like this. Okay. Now we can decide on the quality of it, right? Do we want it hard or soft? A smaller light source relative to this will be, produce a very crisp edge shadow, as you can see here. One of the easiest ways to make your light source bigger is to get some type of diffusion panel, a translucent, and put it closer to your, your subjects than your light source. And so now whatever part of this diffusion panel gets illuminated from the small light source behind it, that size now becomes the light source. And so if the whole thing gets illuminated, it's larger. If a small point gets illuminated, we kept the same size. That doesn't change the light quality as we put it right there. But as we get it bigger, see how the light source gets bigger and bigger. As it gets bigger, it changes the light quality. As you can now see, that shadow edge is, is almost gone in that. Okay. Of course, you can't sit here and hold it the whole time. So that's where, if you're going to do a lot of this work, grip material becomes very critical. So I said grip. Now here we are, we got this big, this is a nice big scram. This is probably a six by eight, something like that. And I don't know the exact measurements. 